Welcome to Tipco Data Virtualization Self Service Web User Interface Capabilities. We'll show how Tipco Data Virtualization Web User Interface can support business users so they can create and access combined integration data views to answer more use cases in a more efficient way. Let us open the Tipco Data Virtualization Web User Interface. The Web User Interface consists of two parts a data catalog and the flow editor. The data catalog gives the user direct access to the available datasets. These datasets can be analyzed in order to decide which data is needed to answer a new business use case. To answer a new business use case, you need to build a data view, and for this, you use the flow editor. We got the following use case. The retail department would like to know what products has been purchased by whom. In order to get this information, they need order and customer data. But at this moment, these two data views are not available in one overview. Let us help them out by creating a new view using the self-service web user interface. First, we have to open the data catalog to see if the data is available. We can select all data sets. Here we see all data sets that are shared with the user, or we can choose owned by me to see the data sets that are owned by me. Let's go for all data sets. The data sets that are available are a representation of the data sets that are available in typical data virtualization studio modeler. To answer this business use case, we need data from the retail data set. We'll use the order view. So once we click on orders, we can see the actual data that is available in the orders view. We can see the columns, who the owner is when it's created. And we can select a subset of the data as a sample. So we use the order view and the customer view, which we will take from the wholesale data set. We go to the first layer, it's the physical layer, and the view that it's available in the physical layer comes directly from the data source. Select the customer view. Now we selected both views. We can create a new flow, which will directly lead us to the flow editor. It will ask us if we would like the two selected resources. We say yes. Now we open the flow editor, and on the main panel, you see different functions. We have a dataset function, we have a column function, filter function, join function, and some SQL functions such as union, accept, and an intersect function. And then we have a, a publish function. So as you can see, the two datasets are already part of the view and we would like to create one representation. So we need the join function to join these two datasets. We, we drag and drop to the canvas. Then we drag and connect the first dataset to the join function. We do the same with the second one. And then we can edit the join function. Once we clicked on the join function, you see the different types of join options that we have that we can choose from. We will leave it as is. Once we click on changes, we can see that there are multiple customer columns. So beside that, every column is unique. So in order to solve that, we will add a column function to the flow, connect the join to the column function, and then we can select which columns we would like to use in our final view. So we deselect the customer ID column because there were two. We can add the publish function, connect column function to the publish function, which automatically will publish the new view with the new dataset that has been created. Now, when we click on endpoint and we expand this overview, we can see that the view has been published it has been published as a database service, and these are the actual endpoints. We can also go to Tipco Data Virtualization Studio to show that it's available in Studio as well. Click on Refresh, and then on their home, we see Flow 1. Once we click on Execute, we can see the same dataset as we see in the Tipco self-service web user interface. The power of Tipco Data Virtualization Self-service web UI 
allows business users to drive new use cases for the organization by building their own data views.